Graveyard DC in the building, everybody. I got to have that. I know. But anyway, this ain't about me and my hair. Uh, this is uh, about Flight Reacts. My response uh, to the whole situation. Now, there's been a lot of videos on here. As soon as Flight dropped the video, I seen it probably three hours before he dropped it. And a lot of people react to it. But what I was waiting on, I was waiting on his girl's response until my anticipation, I knew it wouldn't matter. So Flight, um, I'm, I'm going to give you a little bit of advice. I said I'm getting Flight advice like you're going to really see this video. But anyway, here it goes. Now, I don't know what the laws are in California when it comes to... Uh, Child and family services, whatever, you know, it's visitation, however y'all do that. But I know here in Georgia, if you, let's say, I'm going to use me for example. When I had my son, although I signed the birth certificate and, you know, without a doubt, it's your child. And, you know, I still got a DNA anyway for other, other reasons, just, you know, just because I wanted to make sure. I didn't care who got pissed off or whoever. Matter of fact, I'm over my son's mother's house right now. But that's besides the point. We're in, we in a good place right now. But to get back to my point, um, you can sign the birth certificate, be proven as the father, but in here in Georgia, you have no rights to your child until you get uh, your child legit, legitimized and go through the legitimization and what that entails, uh, you you basically have to, uh, legitimation includes basically, you know, you have your child getting rights to you. Well, you having rights to your child, such as, uh, uh, child, um, such as, you know, visitation. Uh, of course, you know, uh, automatically you get the joint legal, but probably not so much joint physical. Uh, custody, but flight with your money, you know, if you ever wanted to uh, pursue joint, I mean, well, you know, well, joint physical, you know, you could do it, you know, in, in, in your case. And I mean, you can really lawyer you up. Everybody know, you know, the game, when it comes to family law, if you get lawyered up, man, you can probably get what you want. Now, let's just focus back at the situation at hand. The minute Flight made the video with her and he said uh, they was having a baby and Flight, I guess they did the, uh, what's that, the, the non-invasive uh, DNA procedure. You know, I guess the way Flight confirmed he was father. Flight, what I would do as soon as his child is born, I would just get another paternity test. I mean, we we know for D DNA and everything, it's pretty accurate for the most part. But I would get another one just kind of to stall the process, especially because you don't know if she's, how bad it's going to get. She's going to run to the child protective services before you do what you have to do. And again, I'm going to mention, I do not know the laws in California. I could have looked them up as far as family law, but I don't. I can only speak for George. Because here in Georgia, we as dad, we we kind of have an advantage if we proactive about our kid's life. So, flight. My advice to you: just be a part of the kid's life. Don't even worry about the uh, the baby mother. I can speak from this because you know I I I got, I got experience in this. In my case, you know there was a time me and my baby mother we was not at a good place. We weren't. So what I did just to take precautions, uh, I went and got my son legitimized. This is some concerns I always brought up to his mother. Um, got him legitimized, which in turn basically gave me the legal rights as a father through Georgia. And it also gave me visitation, you know, if we wanted to follow that. So, you know, everything is on paper. But with that being said, you know, it automatically puts you in, uh, you know, uh, child support. But it's not child support services. You know, you actually are court ordered for child support, you know, and you could pay that. Uh, 
you can pay that through Zelle, cash out, whatever means you need to do to uh, track receipts. Um, so you 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 have a record. So you know, I would say from here on out, it's just probably good for you as a man just to keep records. You know, keep you a folder every time you send a child support payment or whatever. Clip holes in it, put that in the folder. Clip holes in it, put it in the folder and, and, and date it. Especially if you do with them Zell, you know, you can probably send, you know, this is child support for what, uh, October, you know, uh, 2020. You know, as long as you keep dates on that. So that way no bull crap comes up ever. Because like I said, I don't know y'all laws. If it do ever comes up, they can never hit you with child abandonment or anything like that. It's like you always financially took care of your child. So, yeah, I know I'm kind of all over the place, but my next point I want to uh, bring is with the, ba the baby mother. I knew as soon as he brought this little light-skinned female on his video, I said, man, and Flight is young, too. I said, man, she's going to be number but trouble. I, I can just see it. I was I was just hoping for the best for my man Flight. Now we know we watch Flight, you know, take you know, take his little L's in basketball or whatever, but you know, as a content creator and also somebody use YouTube actively, I look I'm sorry, y'all, I got your age in the background. Hold on. Well basically like I say, you know, we all know Flight's a stand up guy, pretty good guy. Um, you know, Cash Nasty can vouch for him. You know, if anybody that knows Flight, it would be uh, Cash. They have spent some time together. So I can just see that through people's person. You can see people's personality through here on YouTube. You can just feel it. So with that being said, now it's time for your boy DC to get raw. It's some savage ass bitches out here, man. That's going to try to prey on that. Trust me, I know. I had that persona even when I was dating around or whatever, uh, dating around before I became, you know, this man who I am today. I always was nice to people, you know, gave them the benefit of the doubt, just like flight do before I, you know, became kind of people call me an asshole now in the dating game or whatever. Um, people think I'm mean. It's a, it, it, it's a reason for that. Because, you know, when you when you present yourself a nice females, for example, especially when they're young like her, they want to test you, you know. And um, and I knew just from looking at her, I was like, man, she's young. She's probably still out here thotting or doing whatever she do. And Flight pretty much confirmed it in that video. I'm like, man, this is just something wisdom just showed me from over time and just dealing with women. And I'm like, man, I knew just that that when you being around long enough, you know by looking at a girl, you like she got that crazy ass look in her eye. This bitch is crazy. It ended up being true. You know, I, I was really hoping the best for flight, but right now, you know, flight as you know, as a fellow father, the only thing I can tell you is, man, keep your obligations to your daughter. Um, financially. I will also go as far as saying, you know, spending time with, her. you know, even as a baby, they, they, they're going to catch that bond. You'll be amazed. Even my son, I've been there from the beginning. Just, just him being around me from, you know, from birth, three months, six months, they know who you are. They know your voice. So, you know, you, you, you don't want to, you don't want to be where, you know, you just coming around maybe at two years old. I mean, it still probably wouldn't matter that much, but. Just they 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 just automatically gonna know you as being you know their dad, and you was always there, and then you support it, and then you combine that with the uh the visitation if you want to do it like that because you're a busy man, you know you financially support, and then whatever time you got to fit in. Just by default, I think I, not just Georgia, but I think just all around, just default visitation they're gonna give you to every other weekend. So, hey, just go that route. Your daughter's still going to know who you is. To this day, hey, man, my son loves me. And this is bringing me back to my other point. When I did what I had to do legally, and I took that step, sometimes, sometimes you have to show women strength. What I did, I stayed away from my son for 
I don't know, it was about two weeks, three weeks, and then I went and got him legitimized. Through that process, I don't know. After one, once everything happened after that, me and my baby mother started getting along. And it was pretty much the long way. It's almost at the point where that person I knew when, when when we first conceived them, she started coming back around. I don't know where it's going to head into the future, but like I say, I'm not at home right now. Y'all know where I feel. So, and then again, you know, I, I'm an older man, you know, and, and um, I'm, I, I probably got flight by a decade. So, you know, of course, my, my baby mom is a lot older than flight's baby mom. And I know from his situation might not be like mine, you know, we cordial, me and my baby mom was cool, even when I was dating other chicks or whatever. They always had a problem with me coming over here seeing my son or whatever. You know, we always been open like that. So it's like, hey, whatever. So, you know, a, a lot of them faded out of my life because of me and my, me and my son's uh, uh, mother relationship, you know. But it wasn't always like that, you know. It was, I don't know, maybe eight. And she said it was less than that, but I say it was a year um, that we took apart from each other. I came back around and, you know, things is kind of like it was before. Sometimes you just have to submit and, you know, just be, you have to be the one to initiate action. Don't let her let child support, you know, do that for you. You as a man, just go ahead and handle what you need to handle uh, financially. You take the first foot uh, step forward, even though she might be a crazy baby mama, she'll probably follow suit. And probably not right away. You give her 10 years, she'll probably be in line. I'm sorry for the long video, y'all. But uh, y'all like, comment, subscribe. This is Boy DC The Truth. And I'm out of here. For real.